Hello there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Riley. Um, I have kind of a different idea for what I want to do for this video today. I just kind of was in the mood to do something a little different. Uh, basically, I kind of just want to sketch, make kind of like a casual, more casual video, more relaxed, like just kind of do whatever. Um, <laughs> so I have my little, like, what is this called? A pencil case. It just has all my stuff in it. I feature it in a lot of videos because I'm actually kind of really happy about it because, um, I got it from a really good artist's store. Like, I found them on Tumblr. They're called Hawberries. I'll put a little, like, thing right there and then also... I'll put a link to their store in the description because I feel like I feature this in so many of my videos but I've never actually talked about what it is or where it's from so uh, it's from Hawberry's web store and it's uh, based on my favorite, well one of my favorite anime called Haikyuu and it's basically about volleyball but this is the main character and then this is other main character, two main characters and I really like them so um, yeah that's basically what this is. So I just thought I'd mention that real quick, but um, basically I'm just gonna do a little bit of sketching in this uh, Strathmore sketchbook. I don't know, it's just like a regular thing. I think I got it to use as one of my sketchbooks for class once, for an art class, but I ended up using a different one, so now this is just my like regular one where I do everything in, and like I've done a few YouTube videos in it as well. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of open up to a new page and just kind of sketch out whatever I feel like sketching. I haven't actually thought of what I want to do. I just wanted this to be, like, whatever happens, happens. And it's kind of gonna be kind of real time. If there are any, like, long pauses where I can't think of what to say, I'm just gonna, you know, like, cut that out so that it's, like, not super long or anything. Uh, I'm hoping not to spend too much time on it. I'm actually recording this the same day that it goes up because uh, for a couple reasons. Mostly it's because of my hand. I've mentioned a few times before, like, I have a lot of hand pain uh, when I draw most of the time and it was really holding me back this week. Like, I have a few things that are, like, half recorded but definitely not ready to go up or anything, so I figured I'd just go for this today and try something a little different. I was kind of just... I don't know, I thought of this last night, I was just like, what if I just do a little bit of whatever? Where is my weird eraser thing? There's so much stuff in here, I try and keep it organized and then I lose everything. There it is, it's in the bag. I have like a bag in here where I put all the stuff that could get messy. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with these supplies today, uh, just because, but yeah, so... My hand has been giving me a lot of trouble. Is today the 24th? 24... 16... Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I wasn't really able to draw anything, really, for the last few days, so it's a little bit frustrating, but I, um, that's why this is kind of a last-minute video, and I don't even know what I'm drawing here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of try and do a little bit... a few warm-ups here. Um, but yeah, I'm a little sad because I wanted this video to be kind of themed. I wanted the theme to be rainy day sketching because it was raining <laughs> last night a lot. And I thought, you know, it'd be really fun to have kind of a like, I don't know, maybe go outside and film a few rainy day clips, like film the rain a little bit, how it's interacting with stuff, and just have like a nice atmospheric video, but of course it stopped raining <laughs> a little while ago. It's pretty sunny out there right now, just looking out my window. I don't know, there are a lot of clouds. It might rain later today, I haven't really checked any hourly forecasts or anything, but I just am kind of sad that it stopped raining so I can't make my rainy day sketching video, but it's still kind of... Uh, kind of the same idea, just relaxed, of course, now it's more sunny than it was going to be. But uh, I have a little bit of a story about the rain, because... <laughs> so, it was actually very, very rainy last night, and what happened was... Uh, I don't even know what time this happened, I think it was maybe like 5.30 in the morning or something like that, but um, there was a lot of lightning last night, and... 
I just got totally woken up by this really loud like crack of lightning like I don't even know like I've never really heard lightning go crack before but it was definitely like and I was like whoa like it instantly woke me up and also like right after that lightning happened it just started pouring outside and um I usually leave my window open at night because it's been like really hot I mean it's starting to cool down the weather nowadays but it's been like really hot the last few months so I always leave my window open at night because then like it can get actually cold in here and nice and wintry but uh, winter's coming soon but um so I had my window open and that's pretty much why the lightning woke me up and uh, I closed my window but after that I pretty much had no chance of getting back to sleep like uh, the lightning just kept happening and thunder. Did I say a crack of lightning? It was a crack of thunder. Uh, please excuse me for always getting those two mixed up. But anyway, um, it was very uh, distracting when I was trying to go back to sleep. And I closed the window and everything, but it was just like I had my eyes closed and the lightning was just like totally lighting up the inside of my eyelids and I was just having so much trouble going back to sleep and um, then of course my family started waking up because they all get up earlier than me especially on Mondays when I don't have any classes or anything because um, they all get up at like I don't know 6 a.m. or something like that and I uh, sleep most of the time but since I was already awake at that time it just it was just like no I, I couldn't get back to sleep so that was a little bit unfortunate. I don't know what I'm doing with this, like, skirt thing. It's a little hard to <laughs> concentrate on what I'm doing when I'm trying to share this riveting story about how I got woken up. See, it's kind of a big deal for me because I function on a lot of sleep. Like, I need a lot of sleep to function. And I, I don't know what it is, but if I don't get enough sleep, I just feel horrible for like the whole day. And I don't really feel that bad right now, mostly probably because I'm drawing, because drawing always tends to make me feel better, but, um, so, I don't know. Let's see. This isn't really ev even like a character that I have or anything, I just kind of started, you know, I think that might be enough for a warm-up. Um, what do I want to do now? Maybe I want to zoom in a little bit. Uh, hopefully that's not out of focus. Maybe I'll stop the recording and refocus real quick. Okie dokie. By the way, this camera is like really bad, uh, <laughs> to say the least, and it stops recording. Like It can only record for about 8 minutes and 45 seconds, I think, so it's just going to stop every now and then, so if there's any interruptions or anything like that, that is why. So, uh, let's see, what can I get going here? Maybe I could just draw one of my characters. I kind of feel like drawing an animal, though. I think I'm going to draw like a dragon type thing, but like fuzzy. I don't know, I have these like weird... I don't want to call them dragons because they're more like just really long noodly dogs, but I've drawn a few of them in my sketchbook, uh, which I kind of want to do a sketchbook tour now that I'm talking about it, because uh, I don't know, I just... since I haven't really been drawing very much this year because of the hand uh, related issues, I kind of have this sketchbook, like the last completed sketchbook I have is my 2015 sketchbook and obviously um, at the time I'm recording this it is 2016 so it's October 2016 so it's been it's getting really close to being a year since that sketchbook was finished I think the two sketchbooks I have that I've drawn in this year are this one that I'm using and also my moleskin which is also featured in a lot of my videos so those are kind of the two that I'm going off of right now, but neither of them are even close to being completed. I mean, look at how much left of this one I have. These are all just blank. And then the moleskin is pretty much at the same, uh, like, what do you call it, area of completion. So it's, it makes me a little sad that I haven't been drawing as much because I feel like I could be improving a lot more than I have 
this year because I look at previous years that I've drawn. I think um, 2014 in particular was a really big improvement year for me because I was just drawing like all the time and I was really excited about improving my art and just figuring out how things work. Um, that was also the year that I took my figure drawing classes. Uh, I took two of them. There was like a regular one and then an advanced one and I took both of them and they really taught me a lot. Like figure drawing I think is one of the best things I ever did for my art uh, at this point and I really want to start taking more art classes but it's... <sighs> of course I've got this problem, this little like weird injury thing. I don't I don't know, but uh, I was going to take another art class. What was it called? I was going to take 2D design and I figured that would really help me with a lot of, um, I don't know, maybe like compositional things in my art and, you know, just uh, 2D design. That's, that's what I was going to take and I ended up not being able to take it because I knew that I wouldn't be able to handle the workload with the state that my hand is in right now. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it here, but I am in, like, physical therapy right now for it, just doing a lot of, like, strengthening exercises and just trying to make it, um, easier to do things without feeling any pain. Uh, and I'm not really sure exactly what I, like, what the exact diagnosis is. Like, we were thinking it might be tendinitis, but there's also still the possibility that it could be, like, carpal tunnel syndrome, which I don't know. And, like, <laughs> I, I feel like it would be easier. Well, not easier. It's definitely not easy to stop drawing, but it would be, um, it might be better for my hand if I took a break from drawing, which I kind of did, because for the majority of 2016, I was, like, not drawing at all with my right hand. I was just only doing left-hand drawings or no drawing at all, and it was really tough because, like, after I had been drawing so much and trying to improve my art for, like, so, so, uh, diligently, suddenly not being able to draw at all was, like, a massive change in my life, so it was kind of upsetting. And once I started getting back into drawing with my right hand, it's like, I don't want to go back to not drawing, you know? Uh, it's really tough. So I feel like it would be better if I wasn't drawing again, but also it's like impossible to tell if I'm improving at all, you know, from like physical therapy and stuff. It's impossible to tell if anything's improving if I'm not drawing because I only feel the pain when I draw. So I can't just like stop forever and then be like, oh yeah, I'm getting better. I'm totally fine now. But like, it turns out I only feel that way because I'm not actually drawing. I don't know how to do this foot, so I'm just going to pretend that it's not there. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of feel like I have to draw at least a little bit, like the bare minimum. And kind of, that's what these art videos on my channel have been for me because it's been a way to keep me drawing, but it's also, like, not too much drawing. Like, drawing once a week, pretty much. Uh, I don't really do a lot of drawing other than that, because most of the time my hand is bothering me too much to do any more drawing. And if I'm being honest, it is a little hard to keep up with uh, doing videos for this channel. Um, like, take today, for instance. I am recording this on the day that I'm going to upload it, because I couldn't record it any previous days. Like, I was just, uh, usually when I do these videos, I record the art for them on Friday or even Thursday sometimes, but usually I'll go, like, Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday if I'm running a little late, but I never do the drawing on the day, uh, on Monday, so this is a little bit different, um, and it's kind of showing that there is a little bit of strain happening for, uh, would it, would it, how, how do I say it? <laughs> uh, sometimes I get a little hung up over how to phrase things for what I'm trying to say, but just, yeah, you can, you can kind of see that it's taking a toll on me, uh, and I've thought about stopping, but I also don't want to stop for, like, for the me reasons I mentioned before, and also, um, what else? Also, because I, um, I'm just, 
I feel like it's the only thing keeping me drawing right now, like doing these videos. So I feel like if I stop doing them, then I might stop altogether. But I mean, it's kind of hard to say that because also I do do some other drawings, but like most of the time it's just these once a week drawings that I'm doing. Um, also, sorry if the focus is going really weird for this video, like, I have it set to, like, the, I control the focus, but it's been auto-focusing for some reason, so, I don't know, but I think I'm done with this noodly dragon thingy, uh, I don't know, they're really fun to draw, you know, I really like drawing these ears, like, just really long, kind of thin ears, it's why I like drawing, um, certain types of Pokemon a lot, like I really like drawing the evolutions, and I draw Pikachu ears like this for some reason, even though they're not really like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that one done. Um, should I do another one? I don't know how long this video has been going on. Huh. It's a little bit... Just looking out my window, it's a little bit windy today because, uh, I guess just the weather. I guess that means it's gonna rain again later. I'm actually really afraid of wind, like not not like a gentle breeze, you know, like a gentle breeze, that's nice, um, but if it's really strong wind, which we do get every now and then where I live, we get these really strong winds like maybe once a year or something like that, and it just like freaks me out. I hate weather. <laughs> it's why I live in California, because we never get any weather here. Um, I have to figure out something else I want to draw before I start talking about random stuff again, so... What should I draw? What do I feel like drawing? I kind of want to do... I'm gonna try uh, one of my original characters. She's just kind of my, like... Uh, I don't want to say she's my go-to character, but um, I kind of designed her based on what comes to me easiest when drawing. So, like, round faces and big eyes and just, like drawing anything that kind of I don't really have to think about it when I'm drawing it so like nice round ear and then uh, she has a lot of long flowing hair um, because I really like drawing long flowing hair so and she doesn't have a mouth because I don't like drawing mouths see that's like the fun thing about this character because I don't have to like stress about anything that I don't want to stress about it's just like ah easy peasy uh, just go for it and it's just really nice. I I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I recommend making a character like this or just like not like a character that you really have to do anything about or do anything with, but just like something easy for you to draw. And maybe it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be one specific character. Like I know a lot of people have kind of their go-to drawing subjects like um, some people are like, oh yeah, when I can't really think of anything to draw, I just draw girls or I just... Uh, really like drawing, you know, people just have things that they, that come to them easiest, so I felt like it was a good idea to make a character for myself that kind of embodies those traits of my art, and I feel like she's kind of a good representation of my art style as well, since it's like, you know, if it's the things that come easiest to you, then that's kind of what your art style is, right? Like, if you don't really have to think about it. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe some people do have art styles that they do have to really think about, like art styles that they put effort into making, and I mean there's probably definitely people out there like that, but uh, I personally I feel like a lot of what makes your art style is just how you draw, like um, I don't know, I, for a while I was kind of hung up on trying to figure out what my art style was. Like, I didn't, I wasn't really trying to make a distinct art style at the time, I was just trying to figure out what my existing art style was. So it was kind of interesting because I, w I would look at my art and I'm like, it just, it just looks like my art. But uh, obviously other people look at my art and they're like, oh wow, what a nice style. And I'm like, what style? Tell me, what does it mean? But uh, I feel like I kind of understand better now because I just, the way I see it is that your style is just how you draw. And I don't, I don't really know how to put it um, 
differently than that. Like, I feel like that's such a simple way of putting it, and anybody listening will be like, well, what does that mean, you know? And, uh, I, I don't know. I think it's just, like, it's hard to tell what your style is sometimes, because you you're looking for something specific you're you're looking for like you think of other artist styles and you're like wow they really draw eyes in an interesting way that's their style and then you look at your eyes the way that you draw them and you're like these are just generic eyes but it looks generic to you because that's just how you draw them and you're not really i guess thinking consciously of how to make your eyes look different i guess um, it's just, you know, how you already draw them, and they look generic to you because that's how you do them, but someone else might look at it and be like, wow, that's a really interesting way of drawing eyes, you know? Um, so I feel like a lot of perceiving your art style is really up to that, just, you know, just how you perceive your own art and how it seems like something that you really haven't put a lot of effort into, and maybe that's why people think that they don't have an art style, because it's not something that they put effort into, but I just personally believe that art style is simply how you draw. I don't, I don't know how else to put it, but um, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of the conclusion I came to when I was really thinking a lot about my style, and I feel like a lot of my style is just defined by uh, kind of, you know, like this character with the round face. Like, I draw a lot of characters that, let's see, so if I'm just kind of drawing, like, my generic, how I usually draw, like, I tend to do eyes like this, and I tend to do noses something like this. Like, I don't know, I still have a lot of trouble with noses, and, um, yeah, yeah, okay, so this is, like, my like really simplified round style and then if I'm drawing more like close to I don't know uh how I usually draw it's like and then I do some weird kind of mouth I don't <laughs> see like I said I don't really like drawing mouths but um yeah and then I do eyes like this I tend to do eyes like this more lately but sometimes I'll do them like um I'll just have the eye shape and then here's the pupil and then what I do is kind of draw a line in half, but I also have, oh, I mean, this is the iris, and then I draw the line in half, there's the, wait, how do I draw eyes? Sorry, I'm getting confused now. Uh, I do this, do a little bit of that, and then here's the rest of the eye, there's the iris, and then I usually do this, and that's the highlight in the eye, and then I do the line in half, and then the um, rest of the pupil, and then I shade that in and then there's the whole eye and it's just kind of like wow and then I I really like drawing like round thick eyebrows because they're really they're a lot of fun but um yeah so I feel like you know it's just it's just how I draw <laughs> and these round ears like I don't know I feel like I'm basically reiterating what I've already done here but uh, because th that's what this character is it's just embodying my style oh I forgot eyebrows I feel like I forget eyebrows a lot of the time. Oh well. So yeah, and now I'm kind of moving on, but the, this character kind of has like a weird outfit, and it has like pom-poms, and there's like a poncho, and I don't even know how her legs go, but yeah. So I'm moving on to this character now because I've already gone. I'm, I'm gone this way. Uh, should I do short hair on this character? Mm-hmm. Hey there, so I learned a very valuable lesson during this video, which is called I need to set a timer when I record things like this because my camera, the bad one that I already talked about, do, since it doesn't re record uh, longer than 8 minutes and 45 seconds, uh, it doesn't tell me how long I've been recording because I'm constantly starting new recordings, so if I don't set an outward timer, 
that means that I have no idea how long I've been recording and at the, at the one point in the video I was like I was hoping that I would record for like 20 minutes and I think I've reached that and I looked down at the clock as I was editing it and it had been like 31 minutes exactly when it said that so I was like ah well <laughs> so that's a little bit off so um I'm just going to end this video here and make it a two-part uh, video because the whole thing ended up being 50 minutes long and I don't want to put up a 50 minute video on my channel. It's just too long. So I'm breaking it up. So this is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, the second part will be up soon-ish. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna post them both today or if I'm gonna post another one like next week or sometime during this week. I don't know, but like whatever happens, it, they'll both be up so don't worry if you want to see the second half. It'll be around eventually, but um, yes. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you liked it and I will see you in part two.